Hey everyone, Aaron with Elite Water Sports hanging out on the Skyway East Side Flats. This is where we do primarily most of our lessons and guess what, you just took that jet ski up, you've already done all of your theory set up rigging, all the safety stuff on the beach. You just joined your uh, instructor on a jet ski ride up to these flats and now we need to learn how to fly the kite, okay? And what we want to go over right away is just how to maintain 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock is straight above your head. So if you watch me, I'm gonna make sure that I can either look at the kite and if the sun's in my eyes, I can look at this as a nice arrow pointing straight at the kite, at the sail, all right? And basically what we wanna understand is that if I pull this bar in, that's gonna give me power. And if I wanna pull the kite to the right, I just simply pull my right hand. And if I wanna go left, pull left on my left hand, okay? So, what it comes down to it is basically, if I want the kite to steer left, I just go and pull left. But if I wanna steer it even more aggressively to the left, I'm gonna pull the bar in and steer left. That's adding more power, more power, more delivery, more um, sensitivity out of the sail. It's going to act faster, okay? All right, so what we wanna do first is just maintain 12 o'clock with two hands, feel that power, just slight movements to the left and the right. And eventually what we want to do is be able to do it with one hand, okay? And as we progress into one hand, we need to understand that if we let go, nothing crazy is going to happen, okay? The kite's not going to go flying over to the left and the right or whatnot. We have to get comfortable with being able to let go. So let go and then regain control with one hand. If you have to, you do have that other hand, okay? So getting confidence to keep you know, keep control of the sail with just one hand at a time, okay? All right, now, if the kite is on the right side, this is a little bit confusing because now we're separating sides. If the kite's on the right side of the window, your dominant hand is going to be your left hand, okay? That being your dominant hand, that allows you to have this free hand upwind so you can face more into the breeze. You can hold your board, you can walk with it. And this is our ultimate goal at this position or this portion of your lesson is to be able to walk with the kite with one hand. And if we have to change directions, we're going to be basically pulling left, bringing the sail all the way across the window and then switching hands over to the right hand. Oop. All right. So walking back to the left, facing into the breeze, one handed. And then as we feel comfortable with that, we get to the end of walking, we're gonna steer back to the right and then switch hands again. All right. So if we got to the point where this is starting to be a little bit more comfortable, what we wanna also do is learn how to never use that other hand. So almost deleting that other hand from the equation. So we wanna be able to either piano walk the bar, what I like to call piano walking the bar, so if the kite goes off to, off to the right, I need to shift my hand to the left. If the kite goes off to the left, I piano walk my hand back to the right. You can also anticipate the momentum of the kite by if the kite's starting to surge to the right, we can let go and then pull on the left side. So these are some of the key aspects that we're gonna be looking for in the first stages of your lessons. You know, setting expectations, most people get this around, I'd say 20 minutes, half an hour, maybe a little longer, and others might grasp it right away, okay? So don't set the, the bar or the standard too high. Not everybody's gonna be able to do this right away. I'd like to add a couple different uh, additional notes that you can work on too, okay? We never wanna be a full statue standing here planted into the, the ground, okay? When we're doing any kind of maneuvers on the, on the sail, what we can end up doing is actually like walking into the breeze. So stepping into the breeze will add power to the sail, okay? It's never walking away from the sail. It's always walking into the breeze and that'll essentially increase the wind speed, okay? So if I'm launching the sail from down low, what I'll do is go ahead and walk into the breeze as I steer to the right and that's gonna re make the kite react a lot quicker, okay? So another additional note is like, hey, if I'm going left, okay, I gotta start visualizing myself riding, okay? If I'm going left, 
what I want to do is have that left foot planted out in front of me. I don't want to stand here like this, square footed, and lean back on the sail, okay? I want to start anticipating, hey, I'm going to be riding left. Let's go ahead and start aiming that left foot forward and starting to bend that back leg so that I'm able to ride to the left. Same with going back to the right, check it out. I switch hands, find my new back hand, that's the dominant hand. This is toe side. We shouldn't be at toe side yet, we're beginners. Let's go. Right foot forward, we're going to the right. And now, we kind of do that shuffle and be in position just like we're riding. We want to prepare for the future, okay? If we're all square like this, that's not preparing for what we're about to do later. So yeah, just, just a couple of tidbits or tricks, you know, to add to that first, uh, first exposure to the sail and how to fly it, you know, and just making sure that, you know, you're having the proper body positioning so that it's gonna set you up for success later in the lesson. So right foot forward, kind of doing the shuffle this way, right? And then all of a sudden, now you wanna to ride to the right. We wanna make sure that our, sorry, back to the left, you're gonna go left foot forward. So it's pulling you in the direction and you have that left foot forward as if you're already starting to ride, okay? So this is Aaron with Elite Water Sports. And this will be the first part of your lesson out here at the Skyway Bridge, doing some kiteboarding. <laughs>